Hello. I am so pleased to have you here today. I have something very special for you guys. I spent a lot of time working on this and breaking it down and putting it into a very short, simple format that hopefully will make it easier for all of you to take these changes and make them happen for you. I hope you're grateful for this and I hope that you use this um, strategies here that we're going to talk about this morning. Okay. Um, what you say makes it so. I know there's so many they're going to say, oh, yeah, you're crazy. Oh, my gosh, not again. Think about it. When are you saying, what are you saying to yourself every day? I mean, really, what are you saying to yourself every single day? And where has these words gotten you? That is the simple, simple logic of it all. Where have the words gotten you that you say to yourself every day? Now, are you saying to yourself, I am great. I am grateful. I am having a super great day already. My morning is fabulous. I'm just so excited. Everything is just fantastic. Are you saying those kind of words to yourself? Or are you seeing yourself as, oh my gosh, I get up, got to go to work, got to do this. Got to pay the bills. What am I going to do? Oh, my gosh. What is my day? I don't know what I can do. Depends on what words you're saying. But your words are very powerful. So be careful what you say. And not just that. It's the, the feeling you put behind them. Like I said, I've been up since like 3.30 this morning. And I've been contemplating and figuring out the simplest and easiest way to share this with you guys. Without giving you a whole course in a 15-minute broadcast. Crazy, right? So don't you think it's time to make the changes in your life that you keep talking about? Don't you think it's time to make those adjustments in how you're feeling and how you're acting and what you're doing? What happens when you do make those changes? What happens when you take those and you just switch them all around and you make them work for you? I mean, really, think about how do you feel and what are those changes doing for you? So one thing I want you to never, ever say to yourself, not even in joking, is I'm broke. That is such a negative. Even if it's true, don't say it. What you can say in place, if you have the desire to, is something like, well, I I, I don't want to afford that right now, or I don't want to get that right now. That's one way of doing it. Or you can even say, oh, that's, that's nice, but I think I would probably like it later on. If you do that, then your subconscious is not going to say you do not have. It's going to say you do have, and you just want it later. And therefore, you won't put that negative limiting belief right up there in the forefront of your subconscious. I know, it's crazy, right? But it's neuroscience. It is neuroscience and it is a proven fact. Okay, your brain is actually a reflection of what you've learned. It is a pattern that goes in a circle. Have you ever noticed that the things you've learned, you know, all the time you were growing up, maybe you've always been this way, you've always thought that way or whatever it is, and you just never paid much attention to it because it's always been that way. Well, it's because everything we do is in a circle. Hold on, let me get rid of that. There we go. Everything we do, everything we've learned is a huge circle in our subconscious. Because our subconscious is actually the computer of our body, of our brain. The subconscious is the computer. So... Knowing that the subconscious is the computer, then what is programming the subconscious? Well, it is the conscious brain. It is the brain here that we're talking with, that we're talking about, that knows things, that knows a little bit of this and a little bit of that, but knows really nothing in particular because it's all in the subconscious. So let me break this down a little bit more for you. And you probably already figured this out. So I'm going to go ahead and give it to anyone that hasn't figured it out yet, okay? So what it is, is the subconscious is the, is the computer. The conscious mind is the programmer. So you, the person, are actually programming your brain. Now your brain has been programmed since the time you were one day old till the time you were seven. So have you noticed that anytime you've had to learn something, 
like remember when you had to um, let me see let's go back in school when you had to learn the ABCs when maybe you had to read a poem you had to remind re remember it or even if you were remembering prayers or anything like that anything you're, you're you had to remember maybe you're on you applied for a new job and you got the job and you um, had to remember the steps and the systems and you had to remember how it all goes together well, that is programming when you have to remember something you do it over and over and over again right you say it to yourself over and over and over again until it becomes second nature just like riding a bike or driving a car or even riding a horse or you know it's all repetitive nature so this is how you change your brain patterns is through the patterns of repeat and rinse repeat and rinse you do it over and over again and if you ask your brain a question what would my life be like with you know I'm fill in the blank like you could say hypothetical let's see what would my life be like with ten thousand dollars a week what kind of a life will I have that is a question that is going to get your brain to thinking saying yes how is that let's figure that out let's do that let's create it and your subconscious will work to bring those options those opportunities to you so you that you not just your subconscious can see what it feels like and how it is but your conscious brain can also see how it is that's how it works it's neuroscience it's crazy by doing this it changes the brain being coherent and this triggers the heart when the two are in sync you don't know what's gonna happen it's miracles it's just magic when your heart is in sync with your brain and they're both working together not just the pump to make you breathe and to make you happy when it works together again this is all neuroscience guys these are proven scientific facts you can check them out anywhere in the science community okay and this is like magic when it happens and it is creative state it is just I can't explain so much how it feels when this happens and it unfolds and you don't even realize it's happening sometimes until it's happened and then you look back and say wow where did that come from where how did that happen I don't even remember doing that and it just happens for you because you took action you made it happen you took that the steps in that system or you bought that course or whatever it was that was going to help you launch yourself forward so this is actually a quantum field and in the present moment your energy will attract and form what you desire it is a scientific quantum field of your brain of your emotions of your energy it's all right there first thing in the morning when you get up the first thing what do you do what do you say what are you thinking when you first wake up in the morning and this is the question I'm asking you that only you can answer so what are you thinking what are you feeling if you're thinking oh my gosh I got to go to work oh I've got to roll myself out of bed I got to get the kids going I've got to get you know breakfast on I've got to get you know every whatever it is you have to do if you're constantly thinking in the negative or you if you're constantly thinking oh my god how am I gonna pay those bills you know what am I gonna do if you're thinking that way when you first wake up you know what's happening you are setting your day you are setting your day when you before you even put your foot on the floor you are setting your day if you wake up feeling sore and tired or your back aches your headaches you crinked your neck when you're sleeping whatever it is you're setting your day if you change your lifestyle change your thinking change your feeling it's all a fact and it's neuroscience like I keep saying it's neuroscience that all these changes are happening according to what you're thinking and feeling and your brain will fire a diff different synopsis in your brain with different thoughts and different paths that you are creating just by your thoughts and your feelings and when you break it down the body and the mind knows this is the problem and you have the answer to change and make the changes so you have to reprogram the subconscious brain it's crazy everybody wants to have the good life right 
everybody wants to have an easy life you want to have the money you want to have the freedom you want to have you know the cars or the homes or the travel or you know you want to have 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 but then you're not willing to make the changes that are needed to make it happen so question is how many people have offered you different courses for your business or different systems that, that are proven to work that they've it's been proven and they're offering it to you you came into contact with those people for a reason it said the law of attraction is like attracts like and if you're thinking and feeling and it's very prominent I would like to have this I would like to have that well in order to get this or get that you have to create the revenue you have to create the money and if you focus on what you want to have or to create or to desire that's where it comes in with different things different ways if you have a home business especially which is what I concentrate on is you will get systems and strategies and you will get the right people to come your way that will be able to show you and help you with that and if you don't take the action what's gonna happen you're not gonna get it right so you have the answers to make the changes you have the answers to make it all happen so it's up to you to make it happen so one tip I can give you well, I can give you more but I'm gonna give you one right now is love yourself if you don't love the you that you are right now you have to love yourself first if you don't love yourself then how is anyone else going to love you or how can you can expect anyone to love you or how can you expect the universe God or whoever you say that the Creator is to give you what you desire he can't give you what you desire if you don't love yourself first because you can't give you give to someone that is in negative you just get more and more negative it's the way that vibration works if you're thinking in negative if you're thinking in lack if you're thinking in everything you don't have that you won't have that you can't have you're gonna get more and more of that so let's get away with that and let's just let that go okay and the one of the keys you can do is you will have to attract what you desire to you and if you don't like I said if you don't love yourself enough to have it then there's no way the universe can give it to you it's simple it's neuroscience and it's law of attraction combine the two neuroscience and the law of attraction and you know what you are a rock star you are and meditation I can't stress enough how important meditation is if you meditate and you are focused like use like binaural beats or theta beats right now I have an actually an ancient um, binaural frequency playing in the background here that my friend made for me and she has put this together and it's a clearing type vibration and whenever you listen to something like that it kind of gets your subconscious brain which is sitting back there working like crazy tick 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 and it works like you know in the background as best I could put it I'm trying to find the right words here to use for you is it makes it um, allergies it makes it easier to receive what the universe is giving it makes it easier to have those vibrations come your way so when you make the connections with your brain and with your feelings and everything you want and desire in your life it's simple it comes to you frequently and easily and you have to want it desire it and feel it when you do these things friends you are unstoppable and you know what I can't even stress enough how many people I've been coaching how many people I've been working with who are just rocking it they're just going like crazy and just making success everywhere they turn and I am so grateful for them and I'm so blessed that everyone out there that is getting my trainings and learning I am so blessed for you guys thank you so much for helping me to help you it makes me happy okay so that is your lesson for today and there's four or five different gold nuggets in there that I hope you will take and learn and grow and 
take yourself to the next step, okay? That's what it's all about. Okay, also I have a link up here to my newsletter, so please get on my newsletter. You can't go wrong doing that. And also I have a three-minute attraction in here that is working for so many of us. And again, it's proven, tried, tested. And no, I was not selling anything. I'm just putting this out there to help more and more people if they want to take advantage of this, which I suggest you all do. So please like and share this video and keep it going and get over here to YouTube. I will be over there in about an hour or so. And please subscribe to our channel over there. We want to get it growing and keep it happy. And YouTube has changed your algorithm again. So be prepared. If you're on YouTube at all, then you probably noticed that. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I am truly grateful for every one of you that I'm able to help. And I'm truly grateful for every one of you that took the time today, even on the replay, especially to listen to me and to be with me. Thank you so much. This is all about you and growing your business. Okay, talk to you later.